Hey, yo, what's going on? But once again, bros, women, bronies, and Vegas sisters, this is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Break 2011, aka Cruising Guy 2009. Of course, you guys are wrestling the channel. Don't check out freedom.com. Of course, open shows on that. If you people are interested in bizarre program, best friend for you All the good stuff, links in the description about that, and in the annotation on the side, if any people are interested in that type of company thing, and all that good shit. And without further ado, let's get this started because it actually came out about came out about a day or two ago. I only heard about it like earlier this afternoon, but of course couldn't do a video on it because I was still at work. So <laughs> you heard a little about it on Twitter too as well. It wasn't really trending that big, but I'm surprised it should have been, but whatever man, I guess people are getting tired of it. So fucking Scott Cawthorn is back at it again. Well I'm not gonna hate on the dude or nothing like that or the game theorists that made these crazy ass fucking games. Well he actually didn't make games for Mappa, he just made crazy Shit ton of theories over, over and over and over, constantly again. But <laughs> I think once uh, mid late 2015 last year started coming to a close, that's when the fan base started getting a little bit less and less compared to how it was when the first three games came out or four. And a lot of people didn't like the fifth one. RPG was complete horseshit. But other than that, I got two articles to reuse. So Five Nights at Freddy's Five. Holy crap! Or FNAF, or whatever you want to say it. It's coming back. <laughs> this time it's called Sisters Location. And then the bottom screen, it gives you a little teaser. I guess Scott Cawthorn just um, wanted to throw in there for the hell of it. There was never just one. So I guess there's either going to be more pizza locations that were they're actually just one or two locations. There was a million of them. <laughs> Obviously, this was a parody. If any people don't know what it is, if you've been living under a roof in the PC gaming world, um, you should know what Five Nights at Freddy's is, AK FNAF. I mean, there's billions and billions of videos over it. I mean, first time I actually saw it, I actually didn't really like it too much, but after seeing so many people's reactions, I decided to play a couple times myself. After the third one, the fourth one, I kind of got bored of it. I'm not going to lie, the fourth one, just like a lot, how a lot of people didn't like it, I didn't like it too much either because of the breathing sounding techniques. It, it didn't creep me the fuck out or got me scared or paranoid and that, but at the same time, it's like, I felt like it was trying way too hard to do the immersion thing. It's like, ugh. I, was, I just wasn't feeling it. And before I began to keep going on and start reading both these articles, I don't do this very often, but... <laughs> Shout out to fucking Campbell's Chunky. So this is actually damn good. This is their new one that came out about a month or two ago. Chili Hot Spicy. I know I'm not a food reviewer, but psh, shout out to any food reviewer that does this. This is damn fucking good. Definitely worth your time. I know it's like $5, but definitely worth spending 5 bucks on this thing. So, yeah, let's begin. Oh, and some of the fan art is, doesn't belong to me. I'm just using it strictly for example purposes. So, if any people see your fan art on here, I'm just using it just, just to borrow it for a little while. Not claiming it to be mine. But other than that, yeah, here we go. This these two articles I got from were from Attack of the Fanboy, which I read about two articles from them before, and US Gamer. I never read any of their articles, so shout out to them for making it. There's a couple other ones out there like Game Informer, IGN, GameSpot, but they're already billion dollar mainstream media places. I don't care too much for them. But at the same time some of you guys might and if any feel any guys, any people out there, my viewers, or anyone else, you notice a little bit of the difference in my voice. Because I decided to take a nap. It's the first one I probably took in like four months. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weirded out, but that's usually what happens if I go for more than two hours taking a nap. I usually don't do that very mo 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 yeah, very often. Hopefully I have to do a two-parter on this because the second article from usgamer.net is about two pages, maybe four pages long. This one's really, really short from Attack of the Fanboy. So the one that wrote this um, article was Bill Hess on April 25th, 2016. This one's, like about, uh, this one's about two days old. The other one's a couple hours old from usgamer.net. It's a lot more recent. So it says, new FNAF sister location being tested by Scott Cawthorn Games, or Scott Games. Five Nights at Freddy's was a supposed, supposed to be over after four, with creator Scott Cawthorn moving on to... The FNAF world. However, it appears that another new chapter in the Five Nights at Freddy's series is in the works for the FNAF sister location being tested by Scott Games' website. It's hard to tell whether this is just a spin-off on the series or numbered sequel. Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, there was never just one. I say that really mysterious way. There was never just one. <laughs> That's more of a crazy Batman version of it. <laughs> Although I really shouldn't attempt that because my voice is still kind of fucked up a little bit. This is what the rep website reads. Which has little taglines and screws across robotic face. For the untitled, actually no, the uninitialed, 
excuse me. The FNAF series is a popular point in click survival horror title where players <clears throat> where players play as a night security guard and must defend themselves against deadly animatronic monsters which go homicidal after hours in a pizzeria. While the first three games were pretty simple, the fourth was a little different and that looks that looks like the place of a home of a child. The core gameplay of the FNAF series revolves around checking security cameras and avoiding the deadly contraptions. With tag with the tagline reading there was never just one, it sounds like the FNAF series sister location may be closer to the first three games than the fourth. The developers obviously moving past the disaster of Five Nights at Freddy's, Five Nights at Freddy's World, the RPG game. If any people didn't know about that. That one's complete horseshit. I'm sorry, it just unfortunately was. A game that was, in the developer's own words, released too early. And then subsequently, that's so you say it, subsequently pulled from the Steam marketplace only to be giving away for free later on. We'll have to see what the FNAF sister location turns out to be when Cawthorn updates it. So there's that one, and then the other one's going to be a little bit longer, so I, I can understand if any people want to leave at this point. It's going to be about 10, 20 minutes long. I'm going to try to break it down to five. It's probably going to be very impossible, but I'll leave my overall thoughts using opinions at the end of the video if you any people want to hear my own personal like viewpoints on this series. <laughs> oh man, you already know how I feel about it if you've seen any of my older videos about a year or two ago. So here he goes. So it says, Five Nights at Freddy's is getting a new game, much to critic dismay. And this was named by Nadia Oxford, so shout out to her for making this. This one was a couple hours ago. So it says, The announcement of a new Five Nights at Freddy's game, Sister Location, is causing series creator Scott Cawthorn to undergo an unfair barrage of hate. Indie game developer Scott Cawthorn de de declared excuse me, that he was done with his enormously successful Five Nights at Freddy's, a.k.a. for now franchise, after the release of Five Nights at Freddy's 4 last summer. Expecting the series spin-off of RPG FNAF World, which is currently being retooled, but much like the third, <clears throat> like the Grim, like the Grind collections that are based on the, <laughs> are the baseboard of a Chuck E. Cheese arcade game. See, I told you guys before it was going to be based off of Chuck E. Cheese. Anyone should have seen that coming. I remember growing up as a '90s kid, even some of the '80s kids, before I was alive, they knew about animatronics. It was a huge fucking thing at that time. In those two decades, of course. Let's see, um, where was I? Totally lost my fucking place. Hold on. There we go. The Five Nights at Freddy series is apparently sticking around for a while. This particular FNAF title doesn't have a number taped to its rear. However, instead, as a subtitle sister location, as the teaser of Scott Cawthorn's main site reminds us, there was never just one. The true previous, actually no, <clears throat> this is true. Previous games of the FNAF games have made mention of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Sister Location as fans have spent hours speculating about whether or not certain games have occurred in Set and Z Sister Location. In Set Sister Location, that's so weird to say that. <clears throat> One thing's for sure, we're visiting the Sister Location this time, and at least... One horrifying animatronic is waiting for us, as per usual. It's hard to make out whether the animatronics is all. It's all we have to go on and is an unsettling outline displayed on the teaser's image leaked abo linked above. Though some fans speculate it's a hellishly twisted take on Fisher Price's famous Chatter Phone. The Chatter Phone was in the background of the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 game. And in the other games that take place across the 80s, and so, it is not an outlandish, outlandish guess. <clears throat> and it says in parentheses here, Did you know Fisher Price is still making, makes and sells chatter phones? Rotary and all. <laughs> wow, that's fucking wild. Ring, ring, get the phone. It's death. <laughs> oh, Lord in heaven. Sister's locations revealed prompted to be a big reaction. And not just from the FNAF fans. The franchise, as well as Scott Cawthorn himself, has attracted a huge array of haters. The first game's popularity with YouTubers hasn't earned hasn't earned it as much as many fans amongst its traditional game gamers. Whereas the others believe Scott Cawthorn has milked the franchise 
dry by releasing four games in the space of, the, of a year. The FNAF series contains, actually no, excuse me, the FNAF series certainly isn't above criticism, though it is uncertain, unfair to call games copy-paste games. Scott, Scott makes new character models and environments for each title. He also adds twist of each, <clears throat> twist of each game survival horror element, like having to rely on your senses, nearing to stay safe in the FNAF World 4. Scott promises Sister's location is much different from his previous works, and is full of surprises, so he's possibly taken some of his critics' words to heart. Either way, he's determined not to let his haters get him down. And he says, quote-unquote, oh, excuse me, I gotta take my drink again. My throat is extremely dry. Alright, let's continue on. Let's move it the hell on. It says, quote, don't feel bad about anything, unquote. He said in the Steam community for FNAF 4, I'm here for the fans and supporters of the franchise. Haters are going to hate. It doesn't bother me, so don't let it bother you. Unquote. However, <clears throat> how do you feel about the Five Nights at Freddy's series attacking Scott Cawthorn over its existence and mean-spirited? No, mean-spirited. No game creator deserves to hate, to have hate happen to them because you believe there's no <clears throat> justification for their game's popularity, but Scott Cawthorns has been unfailingly supportive towards the general gaming community. He gives shoutouts to the other indie projects. He encourages his fans to be kind towards each other. Each other, excuse me. And he makes sizable donations to charity streams, including two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Wow, I had no idea he even did that. To St. Jude's Children's Hospital in March 2015, and over fifty thousand the June 2015 Zelda-thon. Scott Cawthorn excludes a patient kindness to <clears throat> that's all too rare in the game industry these days. However, you feel however you feel about his work or even the off impassionate fandom he's created, there's no call to lob attacks directly at him. Call a lot of yeah, that's a real weird ass word how they make that catchphrase. There's no call to lob attacks against directly to or towards him. The nice thing about the video games is that even in the direction of the FNAF world, <laughs> you don't even have to look at the direction of the FNAF world, even if you'd rather not. And there's one little quote here that says, We got the new four-player Ninja Turtles game. <laughs> not bad, guys. Not bad. So, for that was from USGamer.net and the other one's from Attack the Fanboy. Overall thoughts, using opinions on this thing. Oh lordy, I, I I know I said it before. I criticized the crap out of his games before originally. I didn't rip any new assholes on it. I did like it, especially all the crazy ass YouTubers doing the reactions on it. Which actually the big two I probably would say is Game Theorist and fucking Markiplier. A lot of people already know who he is. I'm not giving any shout out to him because he's probably making way more money than I ever will in my entire life, even with two jobs in real life. But other than that, whoo, lordy in heaven. <laughs> oh, where do I fucking begin? Um. The only two things I'm going to criticize the crap out of I hopefully the guy he actually makes this right this time. Please, Scott Cawthorn. I doubt if you're ever watching this video, but word of advice, please actually don't make him into the crazy-ass fucking copy-paste jump scare thing. That gets very old, very repetitive, extremely fast. That's the one thing that, you know, made me fucking facepalm a little bit. Now, this is facepalm. This is, like, more head palm, but lording, uh, please do not do that again. Please, it's just getting really old and getting very crusty and it's getting extremely... What's it called? Not just repetitive, it just gets... It becomes very redundant and very, very annoying after a while. It just does jump scares all over the place, left and right. And they go, eh, eh, like that. Just, oh, Lord. It, it's silly as fuck. I, it's extremely annoying. And it gives me migraines after a while, and I don't like that shit. I'm sorry. I mean, I like the people reacting to them after a while, and I played them a couple times, and I kind of got bored of it. So, if there's any way he's going to take the 15, 20 hours out of my pocket, the only way he's going to do it is he actually puts a little bit more... um different more mechanics tool mechanics into this game a little bit more i don't know if he's gonna make it to like a stealthy type of game where he's just gonna put a lot more puzzles into it hell even if, i don't even like that many puzzle games and i'd be willing to actually play it if he turns it into a whole puzzle game thing or an old school arcade type of jumper thing that would be actually pretty damn nice and i don't know if he's gonna put like surveillance cameras in the thing like he did with the first three five nights of freddy's games aka for now games but if he does that's cool the only things I actually did like about the game was the character design were really, really nice as fuck. Or animatronics. Of course, there's a giant ass fan base out there. Most of them are crazy, stupid ass little teenagers. No offense if you are in that group or category. I'm just saying. 
being out there. I used to be there about nine years ago. But holy God. <laughs> Jesus Christ in heaven, man. I really, really hope to God he learns his lesson and mistakes from his original previous four games. Especially the one that was complete piece of horseshit. I'm sorry, Scott Cawthorn, but the FNAF like RPG game, that turned a complete excrement immediately. That was really, really fucking bad. And I know I did a review on it a couple months ago. Not too long. I think it was like November, December of 2015. Of last year. But the only other things you can improve on besides the jump scares, the whole copy paste thing, because that, once again, it gets repetitive and it gives me headaches after a while. I've seen it so many fucking times to know what's in. Um, another thing you really, really have to stop doing is uh, <laughs> the whole breathing mechanics. I mean, do not bring that back ever again, because that was really, really horrifying. Put something else in it instead, you know? Or the double jump scare thing with that whole bunny rabbit for Five Nights at Freddy's 3. That one was kind of crappy. The one that's supposed to be taken to taking place in 2010, 2011, in the early 2010s, late early 2000s, almost in the modern time era that we live in, but still at the same time, ugh. I just hope he doesn't try too hard. Don't listen too much to the fan base, because if you do, it's going to be another slap in the face to all the mainstream media, like community gamers out there, even old school players, you know, old school Let's Players and all that, or speedrunners, people that do speedrunning games, you already know what that is, and if you don't know what it is, it's people that try to beat the game as quickly as possible. I think the first ones that started with, like, the mid-late 90s with the whole Mario, um, not Mario Kaiju, but that other thing, that Mario thing that's supposed to be, like, the ROM hack world, and you have to get through the levels as quick as possible. And then, of course, the mid-late 2000s, it started getting a lot more popular with Let's Plays and all that. Of course, at that time, they were called walkthroughs, and, um, I forgot the other word for it. They were called walkthroughs and tutorials at that time. Until Let's Plays, I think it was 2009, 10, that's when they were starting to be called Let's Plays and walkthrough series. I don't know. <laughs> I digress. And the last one, at least, actually, you know what he could do? He should be given a voice actors. I don't know how much you're going to have to pay the voice actors for, but to do all four of them, especially the new animatronics that we're going to get, besides the really old ones, like besides Freddy Fazbear and the Golden Freddy, and uh, what else? Bonnie and Chica, and then uh, the other one, um, that pirate thing, and then the Mangle Girl. We should see a little bit more of her than we did before in the second and third fight next to Freddy. Actually, in the first and second one. That would be actually um, really good a story overworld story lapping building type of thing that would be really, really awesome to build and broaden the horizons of your fans fanboys and fangirls out there that are actually playing these games and spending their money on it not to get ripped off or scammed by this man please don't do that i'm just saying please from a real like <laughs> gamers perspective like myself just don't shit all over the franchise that badly and um, make a cash cow out of this thing and suck suck the crap out of this thing for every penny that it has. That's a really bad look on gaming developers, aka indie developers or devs, however you want to pronounce their names or categorize them in a certain group. That's all up to you, ladies and gentlemen. That's totally up for debate. And I'm done here. Links to description box down below, station on side, and um, I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and pipes, sister. I will see when I see you guys get day. Have a good night wherever you are around the world. Don't drink, smoke at the same time. Don't take them reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, get your collect out there. And until then, that's it, guys. Peace out, ladies and guys. Stay tuned more videos coming soon. Brand new videos on channels every single day. Stay in the grind, stay, 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 stay healthy, be easy, be do it yourself. Peace out, my life's out, I'm going to get a lot of air. Stay tuned for more future content on channel. Stay tuned for more updates. See you guys next time. Stay safe, everyone. And stay tuned for more future videos and updates as well. See you guys next time. Deuces, I'm out. And uh, yeah, Sister's Last Location. I wonder what that's going to be. Hopefully, it's a brand new mechanical character. Hopefully, there's a lot more voice acting this time around and a lot more arcade shooter type of thing and a lot more puzzles. That's all I'm asking for. Shouldn't be too much for Mr. Scott Cawthorn to um, handle. And uh, shouldn't be too much to, like, <laughs> for him, he's, he should be biting off more than he could chew. To be more bluntly honest. See you guys next time. Goodbye, and um, see you soon.